Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to download music on your iPhone for free. So if you want to listen to music offline and for free on your iPhone, then I'll show you guys exactly how to do it in this video today. So you don't have to pay any money to do this method, so it's really easy and I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. But make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video so you know exactly what to do in this video. But like I said, you don't need to pay any money for Spotify Premium or Apple Music or anything like that. It's completely free. But you do need to download a couple of apps. So first things first, you want to head over to the App Store. So search for App Store and head over to it. Once you head over to the App Store, you're going to search for the app Documents. So go to the search option and search for Documents. Once you search for Documents, the you want to choose the first app that shows up. So search Documents and once you search it, it should be the first option that shows up right here. Documents, uh, File Manager, and Web. So you want to download this app right here. So when, as you can see, it has a ton of reviews and it has a ton of downloads. And it is really reliable. It isn't a scam or anything like that. So just download it real quick. And it takes, it's 170 megabytes or so. So just wait for it to download. And once you're it's done downloading, you can head over to the app. So let me head back to the home screen and you can drag it out onto your screen as well. And just put it wherever you want on your phone screen. But now you have to wait for it to finish downloading. Once it finishes downloading, you're going to want to head into the app, the Documents app. So just head over to the Documents app, and then you're going to have to set it up real quick. So once you go into the Documents app, this will show up right here. You can click Allow or Don't Allow, it doesn't really matter. And you click Continue, click Let's Start. Uh, and here, you can click Don't Allow or Allow, it doesn't really matter for notifications. But first you want to choose Personal, or the, either any of them work. And here you want to choose Music and Video. You can choose any of the other options as well, but we're mostly going to be working with these files right here. Once you do that, you can click continue, and once you click continue, uh, it's going to bring you to this page here. And here, you're going to look for play music and video, download the files from the web, and the last one is browse the internet and use VPN as well, maybe. But that's basically all you need, and once you do that, you can just click continue, and it'll have this screen show up right here, and you have to wait for a bit. And once it loads, then it will bring you to this screen right here. Here you can sign up, but you can just click skip in the top left corner of the screen. So you don't have to do anything right here. And once that happens, it's going to ask, uh, say this, how your free trial works. But you can just click on the X in the top left corner of the screen once again. And you don't need to, you don't need a trial or you don't have to pay for anything. So once you get to this page right here, you're just going to click continue, uh, continue, just on the bottom of the screen, just go through all this real quick. You can read it too if you want to, but it doesn't really matter. And just click uh, Finish Tour. And now here, what you are going to want to do, you click on the plus icon, the orange plus icon, and add a file. You want to name this file Music. Once you do that, you're going to want to head over to the browser in the bottom right corner of the screen. Here, you can search for the music that you want to download. I'm going to use royalty-free music. So I don't get copyrighted or anything like that by YouTube. But once you search for it, you can just uh, find the songs that you want to download. So let's say I go to Pixabay. I'm going to find a song that I like. You can use royalty free music as you can see right here. But I just need to turn on my VPN because it wasn't working for some reason. But you can find the song that you want. You can just go through all these songs and just play them and see which one you like the best. But once you find the song that you want, click on it. And uh, once you click on it, it'll bring you to the song. And here, you can just click Download Song. I'll just download the song. And once you download it, it will save it to the Documents app. So just click Download, and then click. You want to save the file to the music file. So you can name the song whatever you want, or what the actual name of the song is. You want to save it to the music file. Once you do that, it'll uh, save it to the actual music file. So you can click Done once you do that in the top right corner. And it'll save it and it'll start downloading the song and it'll, then it'll save it to the music file. So as you can see it takes a little bit of time but once it finishes downloading it'll show up in your music file. So I'll just show you guys real quick. If you go over to your files and then go to the music file then it will show up in there as you can see here. So that is how you download music in the first place. Uh, so you can continue downloading as much music as you want. As you can see it's like a music player right here. You can shuffle it, you can uh, loop songs, you can do whatever. Uh, you can't add a song cover though unless you buy premium but you can also get the free trial so once you download all, all your songs then you can just get the free trial and just change all of them 
and edit them however you want for the metadata but if you don't want to do that then you'll just have to be satisfied with just changing the name of the song now you can continue to just using the documents app and just make uh, different folders for different playlists and different albums however if you want to use a music player like Spotify or something but not actually Spotify it just has the same overlay as Spotify then I'll show you guys how to do that as well so you could just continue using this like I said and just make different files for or folders for playlists but if you want like a better overlay or website design or app design then you can just download another app and transfer the files over to that app so to do that you're gonna have to head over to the app store again so let me head over to the app store real quick so you can search for the app store or whatever and once you go go over to the app store uh, you're gonna want to go to the search bar and then you want to search for music player once you search for music player you're gonna want to choose the first option that shows up uh, not the ad but this one right here called music player it has like a red it's kind of similar to YouTube's icon but you want to download that app right there so just wait for it to download real quick it shouldn't take that long because it's a pretty small download but once you start downloading it you can go back to your home screen and put it onto your home screen like normal and then once it finishes downloading uh, it just takes a tiny bit of time once it finishes then you can just open the app and I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like as you can see here you can uh, browse through music and stuff but I don't think you can download any of it really you guys can go through and mess around with it if you want to but as you can see there's multiple options for this uh, app and you can sh import downloads so that's what we're gonna do actually so to import downloads you're gonna have to head over to the documents app and then f go to your music uh, folder and find the songs that you want to import once you click on the songs you're gonna want to click on the three dots right beneath the song and then it's gonna bring to this page here here you want to click on the share button uh, at the top of the screen out of those four options once you do that, you're going to want to sh uh, share it to your files. So look for the option that says save to files and share it to the files. Once you do that, uh, it's going to normally bring you to uh, this page right here, which is on my iPhone. So it will just bring you to this page on my iPhone right here. And once you're brought to this page, you're going to want to click on the three dots in the top right corner right next to save. And you want to uh, create a new folder. Once you create a new folder, you're going to want to name that folder music or whatever you want. You can also name it like a playlist name or whatever. But once you do that, it'll say folders uh, empty, but then you save that song to that folder. Now, once you do that, you can head over to the files app to make sure that you actually saved it to that folder. So here's the music folder right here. And as you can see, the song is saved there. Now, once you do that, you can head over to the music player app that you just downloaded. And then you can import on downloads if you go over to the downloads option you can click import in the top right corner of the screen and then here you want to click on files which is the local in the local subsection once you click on files you're gonna uh, it's, it should bring you to this page right here and here you're gonna go to on my iPhone and then look for the music folder as you can see it's right there now what if you can't find it you can click back or browse in the top left corner but once you find the folder you're gonna want to click on the folder and then find the music that you want to import now you just want to click import in the top right corner after you choose the music and this app does have a couple ads but they're really uh, short so it doesn't really matter but once you import it it should show up in your app as you can see here it is now in the app now to add it to a playlist what you want to do you want to head over to playlists and click create a playlist and then you can name it whatever you want and as you can see it has no music in it but to add the song to the playlist you have to ha head over back to downloads and then click on the name of the song at the bottom of the screen so that this uh, screen shows up here and here you're just going to click on the three dots in the bottom right corner and click add to playlist now as you can see it is now added to the playlist and it is in the playlist so that is basically everything you have to know to download songs to your phone for free so this is a royalty free th song but you can do this with basically any song that you want so you, as you can see there's a ton of options on this music player app which I think makes it better than the documents app but you can choose if you want to download both of the apps or just use the documents app but that is how you download music to your iPhone for free so I hope this video was helpful if it was I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe leave any questions you have in the comment section below I'll do my best to answer them and I'll see you guys next time